Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Philip Johnson. I head up the patient coordinator department here at Spinagle Wellness, where Dr. Rick Spinagle um, treats patients from all over the United States, Canada, around the world. We are a wellness center and our goal is to uh, help people recover the lifestyle that they've lost due to uh, so many complications that arrive from environmental toxins, Lyme disease, um, brain chemistry issues and so we have a wonderful story here to tell today and um, I'd like this young lady here to introduce herself. Tell us your first name. Hi, I'm Emily. Emily, where are you from? I'm from West Virginia. I love West Virginia. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how old are you? I am 26. 26. Yes. So Emily, nobody here knows anything about this story. Okay. And they look at you and say, man, this girl's got it going on. She looks great. And so was it always like that? Tell us what brought you here. Um, no, it's not always been like that. <laughs> I have, I came down here because I had been an opiate addict okay. for 10 years. Um, started on tramadol, went through the different things, ended up on Suboxone, okay. Subutex. I then started shooting up okay. the, sub, the Suboxone and everything. And you name it, I've So you kind I've of became it. a little bit of a chemist in the process. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, yes. Um, so we found this, this place down here. We saw it on a Dr. Phil show. Right. And um, I was on an airplane two days later down here. Okay. Um, I've been here three weeks right. on detox. Um, Completely painless detox. Awesome. It, it was amazing, you know. Um, I feel really good, but I was diagnosed with five strains of Lyme disease, black mold toxicity, toxoplasmosis, the Barbella, the Barbesia. Um, I had no hormones. My immune system was shut down. <laughs> um, my gut was very, very messed up. And um, in three weeks, I'm basically, I went from like zero to a hundred. Wow, you said a whole lot in a short period okay, of time. Sorry. Okay, no, <laughs> we need to go back. This is incredible. Okay. Um, you know, first you're talking about, you know, an addiction. Yeah. So you came here for a detox program. Yes. Um, but it's in all of our detox program. It always includes a wellness protocol. And a lot of that goes back to the brain. You know, mm -hmm. what's going on in the brain, why do you have the cravings, why are you benefiting from an opiate. Uh, some of that's genetics, some of that's toxins, these type mm -hmm. of things. So yep. no doubt Dr. Spinagle went into some detail yes. about all of yes. that. Yes, a lot of detail, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And it explains a lot. A lot of people say that, you know, that explains a lot of things that have gone on in my life. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Know, just the brain chemistry part of what we do. In our detox program, um, literally works that way. We might call it, you know, walking off the drugs. You said that the detox was basically painless. Uh, we avoid the whole, you know, were you, were you afraid of detox? Have you tried to detox before? No, I'm um, never. I was terrified of it. That's why I was on it for so long. Yeah. Um, and you know, that is an opiate addict's worst fear yeah. is the withdrawal. But, you know, I watched a bunch of testimonies on the site and, you know, I just, we felt like it was the right place, yeah. and it definitely was. Gary was your plan of care nurse to yes. walk you through all of this, and he's very good yes. uh, in what he does. And, and again, we call it walking off the drugs because, you know, we're working from two different directions. We, you know, we're dealing with the drugs and, and decreasing that and weaning mm -hmm. you off the drugs. But at the same time, you know, we're doing the wellness protocol. We look at the brain chemistry. We looked at this whole list of things you just yes. mentioned. You know, yes. you got, you got what well, we, we simply call it bugs. You got the bugs, you got the, oh, yeah. the mold toxicity going on, yeah. which, um, and this is where, and, and, I, and I wish anybody watching this that is dealing with, you know, a, an addiction, whether it's drinking, whether it's drugs, um, you may feel like, most people feel like, is it just me? Is it? Is there something wrong with me? Oh, yeah. You know, um, yes. what happened to me that I just do this all the time? Mm -hmm. But what I want you folks watching this to understand is that when the brain chemistry gets imbalanced, when you get possibly toxins hitting the body, which cause the brain to become over-electrified, mm -hmm. when that happens, you deal with anxiety and panic attacks and depression and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just urges that come upon you. Yes. And, and then if you have genetics in place that perhaps are burning dopamine pretty quick, um, that one. <laughs> always wanting craving. It's always craving oh, yeah. a dopamine hit of some yes. sort. And so it's not about whether you're a good person, a bad person, a spiritual person, whatever. Right. It, it is, it's about uh, medically 
addressing these things. I had a, a, a great experience in three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, you had our healing IV therapy every day. Yep. And was there any particular thing about the treatment that, you know, you especially saw a result of or you look back and think, wow, that, that was awesome or? I mean, just the whole thing. I mean, just getting those IVs, the drips every day. I mean, they make you feel very good, but I mean, my skin color's better, my hair's thicker, my nails are longer. You know, I just feel in 21 days, I feel like I'm a different person. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wonderful. And everybody I've talked to, my family is like, you sound so good. Like, you sound like you have life in your voice now because yeah. I was in a very, very bad place. Well, absolutely. But when uh, when you're, you know, adrenals and hormones and yeah. thyroid and wellness panels, immune system, when all these things yeah. have been compromised because of toxins, whether environmental toxins um, or the Lyme, the bug, the co-infections, these type of things. So... You know, going back home, uh, it's important for you to uh, avoid mold. <laughs> if that's, yes, you know, if that's possible. If that's possible. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> of course, we try to teach about mold here and how to try to avoid it, how to look for it. Mm -hmm. It is, it is, um, causes so much problems uh, to us. It can affect that brain chemistry and um, cognitive issues and decreased assimilation and knowledge, as well as all the physical issues yeah. that go along with yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So you feel confident about going home? Yeah, I feel really good about going home. All um, right. All right. Is there anything okay. else you want to add to the folks that are watching this here today? Um, you really can get off opiates with no pain. I mean, it's it's amazing, and it's all like natural things yeah. that your body craves. I mean, my I burn up dopamine fast four times faster than normal people from a gene I inherited. Yeah. Um. You know. I, all, I did think something was wrong with me. Yeah. I was like, why do I love drugs so much? But I've just felt so bad before. Never dreamed I had the Lyme and the mold, but, you know. Yeah. And I don't believe I would have been diagnosed with that anywhere else. I mean, I'm a nurse, and I've never, you know, we well, didn't learn much about it. You obviously, know? somebody had diagnosed you in the past, and their answer was to give you Subutex or Suboxone. Yes. That yeah. was the remedy to your problem. Yeah. Which basically just feeds the addiction. And, yeah. And those are... Those, you know, um, Subutex, um, the, uh, you know, the methadone, those are very, very addictive drugs. Oh, yeah. You know, to try to get yes. off of. And, and they're very dangerous. Very dangerous as well. And so there is, there is other options. Yes, there are other and options. And, and yes. We, and we do try to go with the all natural approach and yeah. to try and help all that. Well, it's been a pleasure having you here in this conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure that folks that are watching this are going to be encouraged. I hope you know, so. Yeah. By the words that you've said, you get the chance to go back to the life you love and yeah. look out West Virginia. Here you come. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely going to be way better. All right. Good deal. All right.